So what I'm going to be doing today is I'm going to, I have three cups here and I'm putting different food colorings in it to get pink, blue, and kind of like a purplish in the middle. I'll be back. So basically what I'm trying to go over today is when a system in equilibrium is subjected to change, the equilibrium will shift to minimize that change. So like if I have COH2, two plus, this is gonna be that, which is pink. And then my blue is gonna be my COCL. It's gonna be like the final over. And then this is my middle one. So this is my cobalt chloride and it is basically going to be my pink. So then I have my cobalt chloride, which is going to be blue. In the middle, it's supposed to be purple, didn't turn out purple, but it's supposed to be like in the middle of the two. So like us mixing these colors to get this middle color, which obviously didn't turn out the color that I wanted it to turn out, but that is okay. It's kind of giving you that like feeling of like when you're a kid, you're mixing the paints, you're trying to see red and yellow, what that's gonna make orange, you know, just kind of getting the basics and the understanding. So if I were to take my middle solution, which is a mixture between the both of these two, and I was to add a large amount of hydrochloric acid, it would actually end up turning blue. I don't have hydrochloric acid on hand. I do in my lab kit, but I really don't have the time to pull out all my stuff and do this exactly. But if you could imagine this turning blue, that is what would happen. So we still have an equilibrium if we were to pour in the um, hydrochloric acid into the middle mixture of them both together. Because I mean, you're always, you're going to have water. And even though it turns blue, like you're still going to have that like equilibrium there. Like there's still some pink. I mean, you'd have to be like precise to get it all the way to that perfect blue color as your cobalt chloride. So to make a note real quick, um, is getting rid of that, those chloride ions, it's shifting. It's shifting towards this blue, meaning it's shifting towards your reactant. Now to reverse this, if it was actually like the mixture that I had mentioned earlier, you would pour water into it to get it to a pink, which I could do that, but it wouldn't do anything because this isn't the actual chemicals. Like this is just dyed water. And I'm trying to explain like in a way that I don't have to get out my lab kit. So I wanted to say that if you are going to add water, it's going to shift to the left. And if you're going to add the hydrochloride, it's going to shift to the right, which is pretty self-explanatory. Um, at the end of this video, I'll show you the thing written down and I'll kind of point with my fingers left to right so y'all can get a better understanding of what I'm saying. So if I were to take my blue and pink away and I just had my purple and I'm, I'm not going to do this. I'm going to more just talk about it. And I was to separate this color into three separate containers and put them in three different degrees of water. We have our endothermic and exothermic. So, if I was to put my solution in cold water, I would be getting a... So, exothermic is trying to warm it up. And endothermic is cooling down. So, my first one, and that is in this ice cold water, is exothermic because it's cold. And so, it's actually going to turn, like, even more pinker. It's going to be, like, more of a pinker color than it is going to be, um... The purple and then in my room temperature kind of like not really too much it's really not gonna make too much of a difference might go like a little more purple stay about the same and then in my second one the one that's hot that's boiling it's gonna be all the way blue so just a quick kind of like recap our heat is gonna go with the blue and our coal is gonna go with our um pink so I said that at the end of the video, I was gonna kind of write down on a sheet of paper what I was talking about. So like here, you can tell that the reaction, like this is my reaction, this is my pink, this is my blue, and cool is always gonna go towards that pink and it's gonna be that exothermic. And then the endothermic, that heat is gonna go towards that blue. And we kind of did this in our lab in a way 
but I just wanted to break it down kind of in my own way. I hope that y'all enjoyed.